Sometimes you see a woman walking out with the kisui rosh, and she's modest, and she looks gross. Wow, dude, ah, everything is perfect. Ah. But she doesn't shut up in Bet Knesset, and no one can hear themselves even think. Because she wants to make sure everyone hears her laugh. Everyone hears her laugh. This laugh that some women have, Hashem Yirachem. You think it's one of the plagues from Egypt. A beautiful woman with ugly morals, the Ruach Chaim says, is all the more repulsive for her physical attractiveness. The fact that she's attractive makes her repulsive. If she was ugly with ugly morals, no one's expecting anything. But the fact that she's beautiful, that Hashem gave her a gift, and she doesn't even know how to appreciate it, that's actually what makes it disgusting. Rather than being the source of honor and pride, her physical attributes are obnoxious because they're an enticement to sin. She uses the beauty that Hashem Barach has given her to make his children go to Gehenom. Hashem gave her beauty to represent beauty inside. What does she do? She takes all of his children and she takes them Genom, Genom, Kafakela, Genom and Kafakela, Genom, Genom, Genom. She kills all of his kids. Why? She wants to make sure they whistle at her every time she walks. She wants to make sure every, everybody tries out the village bicycle. She wants to make sure that, you know, everybody knows who she is. Physical beauty, the Ruach Haim continues, should be a, a constant symbol of spiritual and moral beauty and harmony to which one could should aspire. Like a swine degrades, a pig degrades, the beautiful golden nose ring, so is the woman who employs her charm and beauty in a morally repugnant fashion. In so many words, beauty is supposed to indicate inner moral beauty. But when it doesn't, the beauty without morals is considered disgusting and repulsive to Hashem. Every time you see a woman walking around immodestly, you should know, technically your reaction is supposed to be the reaction that Hashem has. The Gemara says that Rabbi Akiva was once hosted by a king. And the king wanted to respect Rabbi Akiva. Now this king was a goy. He didn't know right or left. He didn't know anything about Torah. So he thought he's going to host Rabbi Akiva, Kodesh Kodeshim, like he hosts all of the other people. What did he do? He sent a few prostitutes to his room. The few hours later, all of the prostitutes ran to the king, telling him he doesn't stop throwing up. What did you send us to? The king thought that maybe he offended Rabbi Akiva by sending him women that weren't attractive to him, even though these were the most attractive people he could find. So he came to Rabbi Akiva. He said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, they weren't attractive to you. He says, it's disgusting. It makes me vomit to see an immodest woman to the point where I vomit. Why, it is, why did Rabbi Akiva vomit when he saw a promiscuous woman, an immodest woman? Because we're supposed to be like God. When Hashem sees one of his children, immodest, when Hashem sees one of his daughters, promiscuous, he finds her disgusting to the point where he vomits. We're supposed to vomit too. You see an immodest woman, you're supposed to vomit. Looking 
will be an unfortunate event because it'll cause you to vomit. So imagine we had a pure mind to the extent where instead of having the filthy thoughts that men have when they see something immodest, what do we do? We vomit. People will think you're crazy, but Hashem would say, Kadosh. Kadosh.